Hey, so uh, I decided to make a video and this video is basically going to be uh, the wither training but for a DPS class. As you've probably seen, the majority of the videos that are out there at the moment are specifically resolved around tanks. So um, just quickly, this is the first little pool that I want to slow down. Mainly because this mob can be a little bit dangerous. I do have 20 mobs, so uh, withered. But the two abilities you need to watch out for are going to be on the screen. One's called Unstable Anomaly or something like along those lines. And the other one's an explosion ability they do when they reach a low amount of health. Um, the first one can be interrupted and silenced and feared by warlocks and shadow priests or priests in general. Um, and the other ability can only be interrupted by pushbacks and stuns and displacements. Um, now, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm actually running down because I unlocked the two berserkers. Um, I got a little bit down into this room and then I realized that there was just a little bit too much for me to take on. And I didn't want to risk losing somebody with it at the start of the run. So I kind of just killed a couple and then decided to retreat for the moment. Um, but I'll come back later and I'll show you what else is in here. So I'm moving down to the first real um, boss here, as you see I just called another aberration. I open the first door here and this is where uh, people start to ask questions, they're not really sure how things work. Um, basically you run around the outside, make sure that you're withered arm on rampage. As you can see where I'm doing currently, I don't have it up, I'm just running around the outside collecting all of the withered that I can. Getting rid of as much of the pressure as I can so I don't need to deal with it when I finally attack the boss. Um, once everything's out of the way and I'm comfortable to go into the boss, as you see the video slows down here um, and I attack the boss. Um, so first of all she has ability which is like a shard bolt. It will hit anything in front of her. Um, so you need to make sure that you interrupt that. And then the other ability she does, it puts a purple and blue swirly underneath you. As you can see on the screen right now, um, all you need to do is run out of the group so that you're withered on a hit by it. Then you run back in and you smash it down. It's really, really easy. Um, then finally you go over and get whatever withered. Sometimes there's a chest here. The first time I was in here, there was a chest in here, but I've already got it. So, um... The chests are in different locations each time, but sometimes you might find one just there. Um, so now I'm moving down into the main little uh, double story part here. Now, it's really important when you do start off this area, you might not have as many with it as what I do, um, that you take it really, really slow. As you can see, I still don't have my rampage on. The only time I put my rampage on is when I'm going up against these aberrations. Um, making sure that I'm interrupting the ability that I need to, making sure that I need to stun, I'm stunning the ability I need to. And then again here, as you can see, I'm actually not attacking the aberration, and if you really, really, like, you don't have them on rage, you can just run behind them and through that little corridor that starts off as the end round room. Um, <clears throat> again, you just wait until you've cleared as much of it as you can, and then as soon as you're comfortable to go in and attack the aberration, put your wizard on rampage and then just quickly smash them and move on. Um, so now I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side, making sure that I've gotten get rid of much of the pressure as possible, do the exact same thing. Um, now on this next little part here, I did actually slow it down because um, when you go down this staircase, if you have your wizard on rampage or you attack anything, all of them will aggro to you. So what I did is I run down, I don't attack anything, and then as soon as I'm in position, that's when I start attacking things because your withered won't actually attack until you attack. It's kind of like the passive setting on, on a pet for hunters. Um, they won't attack unless you attack. Okay. Um, so once I did this bit, I just slowly made my way around the room. It was really, really easy. Uh, speed it back up here and just smashing through it. Uh, so yeah, whilst this is um, going, uh, you need to make sure that you get as many with it as you can before you go into the into the scenario. 
I always farm up the Twilight Vineyards. I'll put a picture in the video right now. Um, and that will basically be the area that's circled. All over there, there is tons of flowers and um, potions. One being in particular, it's called a twice fortified arcline, which gives you anywhere between 100 and 170 arcline. The highest I've seen is 168, so I'm just guessing that's 170. Um, but you can get 2000 mana in under 15 minutes. I do it every single time I have the wither training. Very, very easy, very, very quick. Um, now we're going into the hallway, and as you'll see, I've slowed it down to the start here. And the reason why I've done that is because... Okay, I didn't slow it down, I must have just left it. Um, the reason the reason why I was thought I was going to slow it down is because this is where Dro starts to spawn. This long hallway is where Dro, the stealth boss starts to spawn. Um, so it's really, really important that you don't put any of your, your Withered on Rampage, even though I just did just to clear those out. And then, as you'll see, this is where I actually slowed it down because I get to here and I go to kill this uh, little aberration here and then as soon as I get to the bottom of the stairs, he spawns and starts bashing them on me. So the first thing I did is I dropped a stun um, my stun is a lot less reliable, but the main reason I did it is because it's hard for me to determine because it's on a two delay. If you have a stun that is instant, as soon as he starts to dash around the room and be an annoyance, that's when you want to stun him. Once you stun him during that charge, it'll stop him from charging around the room and hurting your withered. This was probably the worst I've ever done, Dro. Um, but all you need to try and do is... Um, make sure that if he starts charging, you try and displace him as best you can. Fears work, Hex works, um, Polymorph would work, and just wait until his charge is finished. And then, as a DPS, he does hit you very hard. So, make sure that when you, when you are fighting him, you aren't getting yourself too low. I try to make sure that I'm always above 50% health. As you see there, I almost died. Um, and that's, he hit very hard at the very end there. Um, but yeah, that's basically Joe. Just make sure that you stun him when you need to. You don't need to interrupt anything because he doesn't have anything to interrupt. Um, and then just burst him down as best you can. I normally blow on my cooldowns. I didn't use heroism because I'm an idiot, but um, that is the easiest way to get him down just by blowing everything you've got. If you don't have heroism, I highly suggest just getting some drums from the auction house. It's not as good, but it will help you in here and... Um, I think, you know, if you can get further in it by using drums, then obviously it would be better for you to use. Um, so now we're coming up on another boss, and this is, um, a little bit easier. Basically what you want to do is you want to run through the, um, mob, and then make sure that it's not looking at any of your withered. So you, the boss is between you and the withered. Um, he has an ability called, Cle uh, Cleaving Claws, basically you can interrupt that, that's a spell, um, which you want to do. I actually screwed up early here with my stun, you don't want to use that, you want to wait and use your stun or any sort of displacement that you do have when he starts using the casting spell which is like, um, brood something and that basically just brings in all these little spiders and it just makes, it just adds a little bit of pressure which is a little bit annoying. Um, and you'll see here that for the boss, the only thing I do, the only time I really ever use my rampage is when, um, I'm going against a boss or I'm going against one of those aberrations. Um, so I skip that chest. I don't want to get any of the chests until I've basically finished the done, the scenario. So now I'm just running around, clearing everything out, making sure that I've gotten um, all the possible wither that I can because once you get up to the door that's just on the left hand side um, there that's where things start to get a little bit tricky um, so now I'm just running around clearing everything again Dro spawns all through this hallway and he pats up and down these stairs I have seen him in this little little room right where I am right now um, 
so you just need to take it really really slow um just as a word of warning um pat learnt this the hard way but you cannot see the um boss with your spectral sight um so i doubt you're going to be able to see it with flare or anything like that um now i slowed it down here because there's a little room and it's got a chest in it normally i've always i've always found a chest in here and it's always got three to four with it so it's really really important that you do check this room because news to me some people don't know about it so um yeah again just make sure that you check everything because you want to try and get the highest score that you possibly can um once you get to over 400 score 400 is the cap so once you hit 400 score that is the highest amount of reputation that you're going to get in a scenario um which if by that point you're happy just to leave that's fine just make sure that you get as many chests as you can get as many small chests and stuff like that obviously the the better you do the better rewards you'll get at the very end in the big chest but if you are only in here for the rep then you could leave at 400 score um so now what i'm doing is making sure that i've gotten all the little chests in this area I'm killing everything in the middle, and then I'm going to go up and kill the Aberration boss, which is just before the uh, main hall. I will put up a list of um, spots where... Um... No, never mind. So, I was killing this, and... I was running over here and I actually fell down like a retard. These webs just tilt me so hard. And then I realized that I had missed the anomaly when I first came around, so I quickly killed that, jumped down, and then I go straight into the uh, boss room for the aberration. Now, um, I will slow it just bef just as I go into the door, um, and you'll notice that I mark the mob. Um, that mob is a patrol, and it moves back towards the door. So I quickly killed the three spiderlings that were at the front, and then moved back and waited for it to finish its pat. As soon as it stops, that's finished its pat. So that's when you want to pull it. You don't want to pull it any earlier, just in case the boss does pull. Um, and this bot, this mob here does have a lot of health, so you don't want to really be pulling it with the boss, and you don't really want to be pulling it with anything else. Um, and then, much like before with the other boss, I try and get as much of the mobs around the outside of the room. If you stick to the wall, the boss won't be pulled. Um, I am going to mark another mob in a second. Um... It's just around the other side, and it, again, it pats back and forth between the area. So you need to make sure that um, when you are doing this, <clears throat> you try not to pull the mob. And you'll see that I actually go around and I pull the mob, but unfortunately I do still aggro the boss because I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, this is this is where it starts. So it's about to slow back down. Yeah. So then the boss pulls here, and again, I waste my stun here right at the very start, which I shouldn't have done. There's the arcane arcane ammunition or arcane anomaly, whatever it's called. And then if you watch very closely, the cast bar in the bottom middle part of the screen, he almost gets the arcane explosion off, but I just just killed him in time um and yeah i don't even think i put on the rampage because after i'd done it i didn't realize but yeah the bot i didn't i had forgotten to put on rampage so that boss is a lot easier if you put on rampage so make sure you do that and you don't forget like me um and then finally we get into the last part of the scenario 
Uh, this little hallway is very easy to clear. Um, you'll move through this fairly quickly and then you'll go downstairs. On the left hand side is a locked door that will not open until you clear the um, mob in the very center of the room. It doesn't have that much health and it doesn't do anything special. I even pulled it by accident in this run and I still ended up fine. Um, all the little spiderlings can do a lot of damage to you with it if you don't have aggro of them. So um, generally speaking you don't want to pull that many but I already had a majority of the chests and I wasn't going to get that many more so I just decided to pop my uh, rampage and I pulled a ton of spiderlings as you're about to see here. Uh, yeah, so that boss uh, uses, that mini boss there uses Curse of the Silk, which can be interrupted and the mob can be stunned, so it's really, really easy. Um, and then you slowly just kind of make your way around the room, run over the eggs um, to pop them, um, or you can attack them yourself and you'll get them up. Uh, either way, you just want to clear as much of this as you can, um, get all the withered, and keep moving through the scenario. Yeah, so now this door is open and I'm checking the map and that's the last little bit there. So on the right hand side, as you can see, there's a little withered there. I picked that one up, grabbed that one as well. And I was, I was, I had quite a fair few withered, but I wasn't really ready to take on the elf breaker. Now the elf breaker is the strongest mob in this scenario. And if you're not careful, it can wipe you very, very fast. He doesn't do a lot of damage to you personally, but if he grab, if he gets here withered, it can go down here very, very fast. Um, in this area, what I did is I skipped that room entirely, um, I moved up and I went straight for the last boss. Now the last boss spawns, before you aggro it, it spawns spiderlings constantly, so that's why you should always go up and kill that boss first, otherwise you're going to be dealing with the elf breaker and all of the spiderlings that keep spawning. Um, so I slowly made my way up the stairs, got to the top, I went low a couple of times here because there's just... These spiderlings do quite a lot of damage if you're not careful. Um, and then finally, as you'll see here, I slowed the video down and I killed the boss really, really quick. Um, there's nothing really, you can't interrupt the ability, um, but you can stun it. If you can stun it, stun it, but again, I missed it because I'm a retard and the shaman stun is delayed, so that kind of threw me off. And then... Um, Right here, you'll see me speed the video back up, and I'll push through to the very last little intersection here. Um, I kill these mobs, and then I run back down. And this is where I'm going down, and I'm getting ready to kill the Elf Breaker. So, I'm going to slow it back down here, and you'll see that because he pats back and forward I made sure that I got as many of the withered and the webbing out of the way as possible so that I didn't need to deal with um, doing that before so I run around grab this withered whilst he's still over the other side you want to get as many of them as you can again because he is the hardest of them all um, and not to be honest, if you don't have over, say, 25 with it, I wouldn't even try him. Mainly because he's got two abilities. His first ability is called Grab Withered, which what he does is he picks up one of your Withered army. It's random selection. And then he squeezes them and deals damage to them very fast. And then he slams them down to the ground and... I, the, I, every single time I've seen him do it, he'll 100% kill them. Um, the other ability he does, you don't actually see it happen here because I have 50 withered at the moment. Um, so he died really, really fast. The first time I did it, I forgot to put it on Rampage because I aggroed him by accident. 
and thought I had 55, and I let him get a slam off, and slam killed eight of my withered straight away. So, um, you can't interrupt any of his abilities. So, he's going to use grab withered here, he's going to cast down, and then slowly we kill him at the very end of the cast, which was kind of interesting because I wanted to show that off, but at the same time, I didn't want to move my withered today. Um, but yeah, the other ability slam does a massive AoE stomp on the ground. Um, you want to make sure that you stun that. Like, you cannot let it hit your withered. If you don't have a stun, um, I'm not entirely sure if fear does work, but, um, if you have paralysis, maybe as a monk, that might work also. I haven't seen it work as, again, I'm not, I haven't gotten my monk up to that point yet. Um, but it's mainly the entire scenario is just about patience. This video took 50 minutes to record. Um, so I was in here for quite some time. Um, but like, as long as you take it slow, you aren't rushing things, you're going to do a lot better and you'll get a lot more results. Okay. Um, the main, the main thing the main two bosses that are probably the hardest is Dro and the Earthbreaker. Dro is hard just because of how much damage he does and how much he can do to your Withered. Okay? So, <clears throat> it's literally all about making sure that you control him. And if you're about to die, don't keep attacking him. Don't stay in range of him. Kite him. Even if you're a melee. The first few times that I did Dro, I made sure that I was kiting him. I went into Ghost Wolf and I just ran away. I had my Withered on Rampage and just went at it. Now I'm back in the first the first room where the Berserkers were, the, the two Berserker class room. Um, now I got in here and I accidentally aggroed all of them, but because I didn't really near my Withered, I wasn't really fussing. Um, so I just blew all of my cooldowns um, and did as best I could, and I ended up still having about 48 by the time I'd been done, or something, something like that, um, and then as you can see here, I'm just running through the, um, scenario again, and I'm making sure that I haven't missed anything, I quickly duck him head into that room, and go back out, and run back through, um, so, if you're not comfortable taking on Elfbreaker, then don't do him, honestly don't, like I said, said before, if you've got over 400 score, you're going to have the best amount of rep anyway, and that's the main main reason why most people are in here doing it in the first place. So don't stay in here and try and kill every boss. It's not 100% necessary. Um, you will want to kill Dro, unfortunately. If you can't, then you're still having problems with him. At the start of the scenario, get as many chests as you can, so that the next time that the scenario does pop up, you will have stronger withered. Um, my team at the start consists of 20 withered, and it has two mana rages, which cast chain lightning, which hit pretty hard, and then two berserkers, and what they do is when they hit um, a charge a target, they actually knock it back a little bit, so it interrupts the casts. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically it. The entire scenario is just about patience and trying not to take on more than you can chew. Um, and when you get to a boss room, run around the outsides, alleviate as much of the pressure as you can, so that when you do actually fight the boss, you're just fighting the boss. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's, that's all there is to it. It's really easy once you've got it, um got it understood it becomes a lot easier um so now i'm running back through and i'm basically finishing up i've used all the with that i can on chests and i'm going to turn in um <clears throat> you'll see pretty soon that when i turn it all in um you don't get an achievement you don't get anything special which was really surprising because i thought oh well i completed it maybe i should um, but you don't, and the little, uh, gate to the side here that looks like you can go outside, you can't, <coughs> excuse me, you can't, so, um, it's not even worth trying, 
Um, and then, yeah, uh, these are all the chests that I was opening at the very end, just getting all my loot. I got 425 rep. I got a toy. I unlocked the focusing iris or something like that, which makes my withered focus on targets um, so that it's easier and they don't like run off and attack something else. And then I unlocked the final upgrade for my withered, which basically gives me a spell slinger or something like that. And yeah. That's basically the end of the video.